In our next tutorial, we will show you how to add a blog to your website. Upon logging in and being greeted with your dashboard, we will highlight the post section and we will simply select Add New. Next, we will allow the page to load fully before we continue. As you can see, the page is loaded and the first things we are asked is to add a title. For this tutorial, I will simply be using the title from a previous post. Here, we will insert the title and for the time being, we will select it all and copy it. Next, we will go over to our rank map by selecting this. A window will appear on the right hand side. Here, we will enter our focus keyword, which in this case will be the title of the post. We will paste that in and next we will add the title of the website. We will also add another two tags that are relevant to this. Once we have added our keywords, we can select them and as you can see the settings below will change telling us how we can improve the score. Next we will continue and here we will start writing about our post. In this tutorial it will be a motivational post and therefore we won't have text but we will have an image. To do this, we will simply select Add Block, and we can either search for Image, or we can select Browse All. I will then select Image, and that block will be changed from text to an image. Next, we can choose to upload a new image, choose from our, from our library, or insert from URL. We will simply select Choose a new image, and here we will select a new file to upload. As you can see, I've navigated to my downloads where I have the image ready to upload. I will simply select the image and we will select Open. Next, we will see the image will be uploaded. And now it is complete. We will simply select Select. As you can see, it has inserted our image. And we can change the settings by selecting all of these. We can transfer it to a gallery, a cover, a file. We can change the alignment. We can insert a link. We can crop as well as we can replace. We also have additional options such as copy, duplicate and so forth. Scrolling moving forward, we will scroll down and we will see that that is the end of the text. Since this is only a motivational post, that is all that is required. We will then scroll to the right hand side and here we will select our settings and we will go to our document. Next we will choose our visibility, which in this case we want the public to view. Next, we will choose whether we wish to publish this post immediately, in the past, or schedule it for a future date. By selecting immediately, we will see a calendar that will appear. Here we can choose either a previous date, or we can actually choose a date in the future. For this, I will simply be posting it within a few minutes. Next, we will change the time. As you can see, it is scheduled for quarter to seven in the morning. I will change that to five to nine. Next, we will choose our category. For this, we will select motivational quotes, as that is what we are posting. We can also add a new category by simply adding new category, inserting its name, and choosing the parent if required. Next, we have come to our tags. Our tags is also extremely important, as this is also what Google will use to index this post within its search results. For this, we will simply select the title and copy it. We will paste that into there. And we will continue to add tags that are relevant to this post. In other words, we will insert the name of the website. We can insert motivational posts and so forth. Once we're happy with our tags, we will scroll down to our featured image. Our featured image is the image that will be displayed within the Google search results. We will simply select set featured image and it will open our media library. From here we will insert the image we wish to use and we'll simply select set featured image. 
Once that has been done, we will scroll down to the bottom and we will ensure that the template has been set to default. Once we are happy, we can run through it all one last time. We have inserted our title, we have inserted our, our text, or in this case the image, since it is a motivational quote. And on the right hand side we have done our rank map, and we have done our visibility and status, we have chosen the correct categories, we have inserted our tags as well as the featured image, and we are happy to post. Next, we will schedule the post, and it will ask us to confirm. As you can see now, we have scheduled the post to go off at 5 to 9 in the morning. I will now change this, and I will simply backdate it so that we can view it live. I will select the term being posted yesterday, and then we will select Publish. As you can see, it is told that the post has been updated, and we will simply select View Post. As you can see, we have navigated to the post, and it has been successful. If we were to go back to our new section, we will see the new post has been added. Next, I will show you how to remove this post as it was actually a copy of this one. We will simply go back to our dashboard. We will navigate to all posts. We will find the post which we are talking about. And we will simply select trash. And that will remove the post. If we were to go back to the front end, which I will do in a new tab, We will go to the new section, and we should see that the post has been removed. That is how you would add a post to your website.